what is going on good people of youtube it is me chavez back with another prize picks video for you today this day it's may 5th 2023 happy cinco de mayo happy friday happy flex friday over on prize picks as always i hope this video finds you all doing well and in good spirits in traditional format we're going to kick things off with a recap over yesterday's plays regardless of how ugly and gory it may be and then we're jumping into the prize picks board because i have three maybe four player props that i want to share with you today so if you like the way that sounds stick around drop a like drop a sub and click the notification icon to get notified of all upcoming content and videos from me and my channel and without further delay let us jump into those plays from yesterday fantastic day yesterday oh man can you pick up the sarcasm i'm laying it down pretty thick bad day yesterday one in three let's break this down listen we can't predict blowouts in the nba and we damn sure can't predict coaching adjustments last minute coaching adjustments like we saw in golden state so kavon looney I, I want to say it was like 15, 20 minutes prior to tip off gets announced that he's not starting. He's sick and he's coming off the bench and he's only playing 20 minutes. So that was probably the biggest damper on the slips that you may have had out there. But um, I got to tell you, man, in 11 minutes, Kavon Looney almost put up a double double, which is probably more infuriating because, you know, with with his proper run, he would have crushed all his props. So that one didn't hit uh, Anthony Davis. Um needs to be put on a milk carton because he he went missing in action his ass is mia from game to game i just feel like anthony davis is like um he's like a first and second date it's like the first date is amazing oh man this is great let's meet up again cool and then the second date you're like wait this is the same person this person kind of sucks that's how i feel with anthony davis sometimes <laughs> it's frustrating you know to play his props on the days where he gets shut down and really, from what I saw, the adjustments being made where Draymond Green was just hounding him all all game long, and they were just they were they were just different bodies kind of touching him throughout the game, kind of pushing on him, and not giving him the same look over and over again. And he was very uncomfortable. He was settling for elbow jumpers. And he was missing them. It just wasn't a good night for Anthony Davis. Uh, 1.5 blocks and steals for Jared Vanderbilt. Nope blowout really suppressed that production and um again another another prop that may have hit but we'll never know because lakers uh didn't really get their full run yesterday uh the one prop that did hit though um draymond green over 32 fantasy points that one did hit and so you know we take that one and we uh we we're happy about that one so one in three we look to bounce back today Okay, we look to bounce back today with these props. We're gonna transition back over to the prize picks board and we are just gonna break these down. Let's go. Back on the prize picks board, let's break down these, um, let's break down these plays real quick. Starting off with the Boston Philly game, I have two plays that I wanna share with you and probably these two plays are the most, are the two most consistent players in this series thus far. The first play I want to talk about is going to be over on the Philadelphia 76ers side. We're going to talk about Tobias Harris, 14 and a half points. I like the over on this one. Let's head on over to props.cash. I'll tell you why. All right, over on props.cash, pulling up Tobias Harris's playoff game log here. It looks really good. Like a lot of greens here. We don't want to just base our decision off this, but this does have a lot to do with it. Because he's not just getting lucky and he's not playing over his head. He's doing what he always does, which is giving you, you know, 13 to 16 points a game. Even with MB back in the lineup, you know, we saw Tobias Harris still push, or excuse me, we saw Tobias Harris still go over this line, but did not go over his 16 and a half point line that was initially put on the board prior to the MB news. Shot selection has gone down a bit since the last game in Brooklyn. But remember, Embiid was not in that game. We can see 19, 16, and 12. And even with a decrease in shot volume, his three-point attempts have gone up. So it's nice to see that it's not a total, a total decrease. But his points are still, his points are still there. You can say what you want about Tobias Harris. I don't know if you know this or not, but in game two, 
he was the leading scorer for the 76ers. He outscored Harden, he outscored MB, and he outscored Maxi. So for someone who was the fourth option on that team, he produced like a top option on that team. He's going to go overlooked. He's under the radar. I'm going to keep going back to his points because he's a solid, solid play. And after these last few games, we just need some consistency in our slips. We need con some consistency in our lives here. So with all that being said, you already know the deal with Tobias Harris. History versus Boston is also very good. We can look at that. We can look at those games as well. Playoff game log looks good. Positive history versus this team looks good. I think we see I think we see 16 to 17 points from Tobias Harris today. I like the over. I like the over. 14 and a half. Tobias Harris points versus the Boston Celtics. All right. Second prop on the board. Now this was the newly added one right before the video started. Last minute digging and researching. Do I want to add this one to the video? And I decided that I do. So looking at Marcus Smart player props, there are two that I really like. And one is going to be his points. And the other one is going to be the combination of his points and assists. Now, if I had to lean towards one, I would lean towards his points because in this series, Marcus Smart has been more consistent with hitting this, this specific point prop line than he has with his assist prop. So in these two games, he's one for two, going over five assists. Combined assists, though, there's not a there's not going to be any game log for that. We can check that out over on props.cash. But for this video, I'm going to present you these two player props. But the one I like the most is his point prop. We'll head on over to props.cash and we'll talk about both of these. All right, let's pull up Marcus Smart playoff game log, or excuse me, Philly Philly game log. And the playoff games will be inclusive of the of the Philly log uh, Philly game logs here. Last two games versus Philly playoff games, we can see he's gone over this line 12 with 12 and 15 points. Now, I mentioned his assists that the combined points and assists was also good for me, but because of his his assists have been a little inconsistent, assists have been inconsistent. It's funny to say that. I am not sure that this is the prop that I want to roll with, even though it is getting uh, his assists alone are getting favorable odds. They're no longer 4.5, but. If in the event that he does not reach five or six assists and he only gives you three or four, it means he has to make up for it with his points. And so if Marcus Smart goes over point prop with, let's say, 13, um, and then he only gives you three assists, that's only 16 points and assists. So there's a little bit of wiggle room, uh, you know, for it to slide, slide down a little bit. I don't like that. Now, it's very possible that Mar Marcus Smart goes out and scores 16 points and gets you five assists. That's very possible, too. But I look back at his points and assists line, and we can see that favorable odds. He has gone over this in two straight games versus the 76ers. It looks really good. But again, for me personally, I like the fact that the majority of this is coming from his points. And he, he's over 12 points in back-to-back -back playoff games versus the 76ers. So any way you slice it, I don't believe you can go wrong with Marcus Smart points or Marcus, Par Marcus Smart points and assists. But for me, in this video, we're going to stick with his points. And I like the over 11 and a half versus the 76ers. All right, last prop from this game. I promise you, honestly, this game is the one that I have the most interest in just because I believe it to be the more competitive game of the two games we have today. Last prop we're going to talk about is Jason Tatum rebounds. Now, this is set at 9.5 in a few different spots. So I believe we're getting a nice little discount here. Um, let's head on over to props.cash and talk about why I like the over on this one. All right, over on props.cash, we got the 10 games, previous 10 games for Jason Tatum. He's gone over this in five of those eight games actually eight not ten so we're just we're just looking at the playoff games for jason tatum here so five out of his eight playoff games he's gone over this here are some things to keep in mind all right we can take a look at this prop and say man this is set really low when was the last time we saw it at eight and a half well it's not now it's at nine over on prize picks we've seen this at nine and a half i believe we saw it at ten now we get it back to nine and it's a nice flat number. So there is insurance there with the push. We don't want gray, we want green, but I'd rather take gray than an L. Also, bad performance in game two, 
everybody's kind of sleeping on this prop right now because he didn't hit it in game two. However, in just 19 minutes played, because he only played 19 minutes in game two due to foul trouble, he still grabbed seven rebounds. Seven rebounds in 19 minutes, okay? 19 minutes is like he played the equivalent of one half and he got you seven boards. Blowout, foul trouble, think about that for a second. On the season versus Philly, Tatum has grabbed nine or more rebounds in three, three of those six games. So if we go back to the Philly game log here, three of the six games. And then also interesting to me at least, that each time that Tatum has a bad rebounding game or a subpar rebounding game, he does, he does rebound in the next game. You see what I did there? He rebounds in the next game and grabs rebounds in the next game. So 12-8, 13-6, 11-7. Now, you may see this as just a coincidence and that's, that's fine. It's just the law of averages here. This is what I'm trying to say, so. I like this look for Jason Tatum. I'm not scared off by it. I think today he stays out of foul trouble on the road. He needs to be clear. He needs to be interested and stay active in this game. Stay in the game long enough to grab 10 rebounds. I think he can do it today. That's why I like the over on Jason Tatum's nine rebounds. All right, and the last prop on the board is going to be a fantasy point prop. And I wanna talk about MPJ or Michael Porter Jr.'s fantasy prop of 23 and a half. Man, this is so low. This is so low. It's not disrespectful to him because he hasn't been playing well in this series, so I understand why it's so low. But understanding the type of shooter he is and how good he is, this is too low for him. So I like the over, 23 and a half fantasy points for Michael Porter Jr. We're heading back over to props.cash and I'll break this one down. All right, so check out the check out the playoff game log for Michael Porter Jr. In that Minnesota series, he was on fire. Gets cooled off a little bit in that last game in Minnesota versus Minnesota. And then starting off this this series versus Phoenix, he's just not been the same. He's only averaging eight and a half points in the in the uh, first two games of this series. His shots are down. His minutes are down. I mean, a lot of that has to do with the game being out of hand, you know, at times and him being on the bench. But man, look at his shot volume. So I see all this and I say, okay, this is not going to go on forever. This is a spot where we see some positive regression for Michael Porter Jr. Also, because we're talking about the playoffs and, you know, we have to be mindful of, of, of a lot of these splits. I like to go and look at the away and home games for certain players. Now on the season, Michael Porter Jr., we'll, we'll, we'll talk about his points first. On the season, Michael Porter Jr. has the highest hit rate out of all the starting Denver Nuggets, out of, all, out of the entire starting five. He has the highest hit rate on going over point prop on the road. And then when you look at his PRA as well, because when he's on point with his points, he's on point with his PRA. 76% hit rate on the season on the road. This game is being played in Phoenix. This is a road game for the Nuggets. I think this is the game where Michael Porter Jr., comes out and puts up 16 points, grabs you six rebounds, an assist, blocks a shot, or, or steals a pass, and that alone is going to get him right around that 27-ish fantasy point mark. He only needs 23.6 to hit. I like the over on Michael Porter Jr. today. I want to take advantage of this this low, low line for Michael Porter Jr. So again, give me the over fantasy points for MPJ. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's recap these picks very quickly. We got Tobias Harris over points, Smart over points, Tatum over rebounds, and MPJ over 23 and a half fantasy score. And that is going to do it for today's NBA playoff prize pick player prop video. Man, that's a lot of a lot of peas in there. Drop a comment below letting me know what you like on the board today as well as what, you, uh, what your thoughts are on these player props we talked about in today's video. And as always, thank you so much for all the continued support, the likes, the subs, the comments. I say it every day. I'll keep saying it over and over again. But uh, it truly does help this channel get a bit bigger as we continue our climb towards 5,000 subs. Fast, fast growth. Thank you all so much. Speaking of fast growth, 
check the description below uh, for the link to the free player prop discord that I created 100% free. Please be a human being. Please verify you are read the rules and you're in. Let's have some fun talking player props pretty much throughout the entire day over in the discord. Best of luck to you all today. If you tell these plays, drop a comment below. Let me know as well. And until tomorrow's NBA playoff prize pick player prop video, Chavez is